Hello everybody, welcome back to this presentation. It's my pleasure to introduce Salima from the National Research Council of Canada. And she's going to be giving us a talk on printed organic photovoltaic for indoor light energy harvesting. As always, please leave your questions in the sidebar and after the talk, we will come back and take your questions live. Over to you, Salima. Okay, thank you, Chris, for the introduction. Good morning, uh, everyone, or maybe a good, uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, so before I start uh, my presentation on printed organic photovoltaics uh, for indoor uh, light uh, energy harvesting, uh, I would like, uh, like to briefly introduce uh, the National Research Council Canada. Uh, NRC is Canada's largest federal research uh, and development organization uh, committed to um, supporting uh, business innovation and uh, advancing um, knowledge through science. Um, we have uh, diverse uh, R&D areas at NRC, including aerospace and security and disruptive technologies um, and advanced electronics and photonics and many more. Uh, organic materials and devices group is part of the Advanced Electronics and uh, Photonics Research Center. Um, the activities of uh, organic uh, of OMD group uh, involve uh, different aspects of printable electronics, from materials development, devices uh, fabrication and characterization, to uh, uh, prototype demonstration. Uh, for materials development, uh, we work on the, mostly on the new development of new uh, uh, organic semiconductor material like conjugated polymers, small molecules, or metal oxide. Uh, for printing, we use different printing technologies, uh, and we have a, um, a challenger station that have many uh, printing station, bravure, flexo, um, flexo and slow die coating. We have screen printer, injects printer, and the aerosol jet printer. Uh, for devices, we make different type of devices, organic photovoltaics, uh, organic field effect transistors, ferroelectric and piezoelectric devices. Uh, and in our team, uh, we have a different, uh, different scientists, different background from chemists, uh, physicists, and we have engineers, what uh, make us really good in investigation of molecular structure, property, performance, relationship. And the end of prototypes and proof of concept, uh, really we develop designs and try to integrate the devices that really depends on the project and the type of application uh, required. Uh, since the printable electronic uh, program launched at NRC in 2013, uh, the group uh, worked on different uh, projects from smart drug uh, packaging and printed frequency selective surfaces. We have printed antennas, then also printed uh, organic field effect transistors, and now we're working on conductive uh, yarns. And we have uh, printed photo detectors and printed OPVs. That's what brings me for the, the, this outline of the talk today. Uh, my talk has a three section. First, I will introduce organic photovoltaic general introduction. And uh, second, I will mostly uh, highlight the challenges strategies to get efficient indoor OPVs. And the third, I will give a demonstration of the OPV based uh, energy harvester for wireless communication. Uh, the research uh, in the field of organic uh, photovoltaics has been active uh, for more than two decades. But since 2018, we have a huge uh, improvement in OPV's efficiencies, like here uh, uh, shown in the NRL's uh, best research cell efficiency chart, um, that now the efficiency of OPVs under one sign is reaching one uh, is reaching even 18 percent, and expecting even to uh, reach uh, 20 in the in the next year. Now, uh, of course, when I talk about EPV, we have two types of OPV according to process. We have uh, OPVs based on the vacuum deposition materials, like mostly talking about the active layer, but we do have also the solution process uh, materials. Uh, that's when I mentioned in this presentation, talk about OPVs, I will mostly refer to the polymer-based uh, solar cells. Of course, now we go here into more details about the progress uh, of OPVs uh, uh, over 